Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. I hope you've remembered to subscribe to this. If not, please do it now. Today we're talking about waterproofing puddle flanges or leak control flanges in wet areas. Now, you've heard me talk about leak control flanges many, many times. And those of you that have been to the GAP courses have seen how it's such a big part of what we do. But the importance of a leak control flange in waterproofing is paramount. And it's part of the Australian standard. So you don't have a choice. It needs to be incorporated into your waterproofing system. Any builders out there that have got work done that they don't have a leak control flange or a puddle flange in the shower alcove as a minimum, the job hasn't been done properly to ask the questions because that's when you're going to have a failure. It doesn't matter how good your waterproofing membrane is, whether you're using a sheet membrane, a liquid membrane, it could be whatever system you want from any manufacturer around the country. At the end of the day, there should be a leak control flange in that shower alcove. And what I do like these days is that I'm seeing those as well in every other outlet in the wet area. So if you've got an outlet outside the bath, incorporate an elite control flange because where you have any pooling of water at the end of the day a drainage flange needs to incorporate a system that allows water to drain away now when you're installing those leak control flanges for the waterproofer if you are the waterproofer installing them you know how they should be fixed we've spoken about this before they need to be flush with the floor however if you're working for a client and they tell you they're going to install it let them know how it should be installed. It shouldn't have a lip, it shouldn't be proud of the floor, it should be flush with the floor. So when you're laying your membrane system, it is very, very easy for the water to run into that flange once the tiler has put his bed down and the job is complete. How to waterproof a leak control flange, a puddle flange? Well, the grip set system, quite simple. If you are using a liquid membrane system or a sheet system, the best way is our BRW butyl squares they are an instant application. They bridge the edge of the flange to the floor surface. So that is the most critical area. We don't rely on sealants. We don't rely on fillers. It is waterproofed immediately. And the beauty of those butyl squares, if you've ever stuck them to a leak control flange, it is a permanent bond, which is what you want. It's totally sealed. And then you can continue on with the liquid membrane system. go wrong if the puddle flange isn't installed correctly if they're not installed correctly you're actually going to have water pooling around that flange and not draining and that creates an issue in the tile bed it may not impact the actual waterproof membrane but as we know if they start to have tiles that debond then you're going to remove the tiles which would damage the membrane and the waterproofing has to be done again get these applications done correctly and all the processes and stages and it just flows on so puddle flange, leak control flange, before you start that job, before you even clean that floor, ensure it's installed correctly. Then do your surface preparation, then the priming, then the detailing, then the grip set waterproof membrane application. Job done, complete, warranted, and we move on from there. If you've got any questions on any challenges on the types of puddle flanges or leak control flanges in the market, there's many of them, get hold of our 1800 650 435 number. Our tech service department can help you along with many of our GAP resellers around the country. Any further questions, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Silver Good.